Fray, the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. Here we are with uh, Donkey Kong 64 with a N64 controller that's way too short. I can't lean back like I'm used to <laughs> because because it's not long enough. I'm just like, ugh. I'm going to have to get this figured out because I have no idea, no idea uh, how I used to stream this. Like, I, I've done this before. I, I guess I had I used to have the, the couch closer. Uh I, I have I moved it up considerably and it's still not far enough far enough so I might have to like do some more adjustments. It, it takes too much work to get N64 games to stream. Like GameCube is fine because the cord is longer, but uh, the N64 one, yeah. Okay. I don't know, I'm worried about making sudden movements, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how long we'll play this. But... Yeah, what, what are we doing? Let's see. I think I wanted to go back and investigate some of the old areas. Let's see. I, I think we have basically everything. Jungle Japes. Yeah, we're missing a... Uh... Oh, I see. I think it's because I didn't turn in the thing. Uh... Where is Snide's HQ? There is one in DK Islands, right? I love I love this the teleporting so much. They can go all over the map, but, uh... Where is Snide's in I thought there was one in the in the area somewhere. Yeah. Are you really going back to Crystal Caves, even though I just... Even though I just beat it? There you go. I, I don't remember how to get to the next area. I don't. Um, so I guess we'll, be, we'll be just be doing whatever until... That's not a banana for me to get. Okay. Well, whose is it then? I guess we'll just... A tiny either. Yeah, yeah. Certain Kongs can only get certain bananas. So uh, if you see a transparent one, it means you need to switch to a different character and investigate. Um, yeah, when I get this next banana, I'll have, I'll be halfway through the game. The Kong. Okay. I, I just got done cleaning my house. I was exhausted all day. I uh, I spent like several hours in bed. And then I finally woke up and I finally managed to get some stuff done. Okay. Honestly, I don't even really want to play games tonight. Uh, if I hadn't like committed to streaming regularly, I, I don't. I probably wouldn't be streaming. Yeah, at all. I'll probably end the stream early tonight or something and, and work on like Jaw of the Dragon or something. There we go, it's a DK one. Okay. Yeah, so you just die when you go up there. Yeah, doesn't DK have a invincibility power up? Is it hidden somewhere up here? Ah, uh, that's a city count barrel, though. Did 
then he can't get the. Okay, hang on. Figure this out. It's this kind of thing that makes people hate this game. I, I like it personally because it makes you like every banana is like an accomplishment to get. It, it really does feel that way. Um, as opposed to like Super Mario 64, where it's way too easy a lot of times. I mean, in Super Mario 64's case, it was establishing a shot. Okay, what's this? Oh, what? Oh, wow. It just gives me the banana? Oh, wow. I've never seen two bananas in one one area before. Okay. Uh, usually, I feel like there was only... I've always felt like there was only one banana in these, in these rooms, but apparently not. Uh, okay. Maybe I should, like, investigate more thoroughly, then. There's more stuff like that. I was expecting, like, that to do something in regards to the, the platforming, but no. Alright. This. Yeah, Lane Cheese is blue. Okay. Let's uh, grab that. Boulder doing here. Okay. I'll well, we'll get Lanky, get, the, get that guy. Yeah, we're probably way closer to the end than we think because it, it probably is not, it's probably not going to take that long to get like all the all the other bananas because like so much of this game is like getting all the other collectibles like getting the, the bananas getting the boss fights getting the keys like when you can just focus on the bananas i think it'll go a lot quicker i mean we're already like we're already, we're already halfway through i don't i don't think i've ever actually gotten every single banana i think like on my best file i'm like i'm missing one and I could never figure out what it was. Like, uh, there are actually 201 bananas. Like, the game tells you there's 200, but there's actually 201. And I think I, I think I might have failed to, to uh, to get one. I don't know. I, I can't remember. But I want to go for 100% completion for sure. This playthrough. What are you talking about? The the game is gorgeous. Like, it needs the expansion pack. Like. More than any other game I think I've ever seen on the N64. Yeah, this needs the expansion pack. Like, it's it's huge! Look at it! Alright, here goes. Uh, okay. Okay, should I, should I go to Crystal Caves, or should I... Uh, explore the islands more? Jungle shapes. Tiny Kong hasn't gotten all of her bananas yet. Uh, do you need to get all the banana medals? Angry Aztec. I'm yeah, not a fan of a frantic factory. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember how to get to the last area. Like, I thought you just had to give the give the guy his key, but no, there's some other trick. To, oh wait, is this it? Yeah, I think it. I think it might be. Like, have Chunky Kong like slam that thing. Bananas than that phrase we need. Okay. We got everything replenished at least. Yeah, I, I've never really. I, I haven't gotten into Perfect Dark. I own it. I've owned it for years, but like, because I never map, like, completely did everything in Goldeneye, I never got around to playing it. I. It's one of my goals. I. I still need to finish Blast Core. Like, um, there are a handful of Rareware games I still need to get through. Like, stuff like Blast Core, stuff like Banjo Kooey, stuff like, uh, stuff like Perfect Dark. Yeah, I have, uh, 
battle toads I've never beaten. Um, there's definitely a lot of stuff I still need to do. Yeah, I know so too. I love this game. I'm actually, actually, the reason I'm playing it now is that I expect that it's going to take a while to come out on NSO. And I'd already started to play through it, so I thought, like, you know, let's why not finish it on N64. Um, oh, wait, no, did I already get the... Oh, wow. Oh, I already, I already unlocked it. Okay. I had no idea. Okay. Okay, don't you get them both at the same time or something? Okay. Okay, I guess we're going to the castle. We're going to my dream castle. Creepy castle. Where's my where's my microphone? Bum 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 bum. I need eighty, and I have uh, I have a hundred. I'm good. Hopefully that thing, hopefully I'm not on a timer. Ooh. Oh, did he, idiot. Oh, come on, no! I had to do that again? Okay, hang on. Is it still open or do I have to do it again? That is stupid. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, Rare was already in decline. I think, like, I was just saying last night how I think this is the, one of the last really good games to put out. Like, Banjo 2 had a lot of problems, Conquer had a lot of problems, Star Fox Adventures had a lot of problems. Uh, Perfect Dark had its trouble development. Like, like there were good things about Rare at this point, but like, I think, I think Nintendo. There was a reason Nintendo chose to like not to acquire them. Uh, they were already in decline, and like, I think their output like after that kind of reflects that. Oops, here we go. Forgot the switch situation. Why does Diddy? Why is everything color coded? Why can't they just pick up like bananas? Why do you have to pick up a certain kind of banana? Okay, get out. Okay, I got mine. Okay, what's under the rock? Rare was Britain's finest export. Yeah, it's weird to think that like um, such a Nintendo unfriendly country had like such a top tier British developer like putting out great games on, on Nintendo hardware. UK hated Nintendo. Still does actually. Like it, it's why like we always see these people hang on, oops. like bitching about like UK sales numbers. It's it's because uh, Nintendo does poorly there, so it's just a way for them to like uh, the ship, uh, the shit talk Nintendo properties. Uh, here we go. Oh really? I didn't know that. I don't know. I'll, I'll never be sponsored by every any anyone. Like not even Nintendo. People are like saying that like uh, Nintendo will never sponsor me. I don't want their sponsorship. Um, I wouldn't want to be a paid show. I, I just want to sell books. That's that's kind of my thing. 
Welcome to bonus day. Search like she, okay. We go. Completely banned. It's gone. There he is. Where's he go? Hang on. So my dog, that's hilarious. Welcome to bonus stage. Cameo, yeah, yeah. If if Cameo was a Nintendo game, I think it would have turned out a lot better. Like for sure. Like I, I've known people to defend that game, but I. I personally don't care for it. I don't know, people are defending Star Fox Adventures in it these days. Uh, here we go. Wow, that was lucked out there. That was like an anti F Zero moment. <laughs> the game like helped me win. Okay, I was not expecting to have to, uh, to win that time. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, ooh, I think it was a coin. Hang on, oops. Yeah, I agree. I, I wish it was uh, released as Dinosaur Planet. Like, have you seen, like, the uh, the clips of Star Fox uh, Dinosaur Planet that have been going around? Like, that's some crazy shit. Looks amazing. Good go. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so creepy. Doesn't he have aw no I just switch out for Dr. John, get those bananas. Yeah, I started playing this last night randomly and I really couldn't put it down. It's really good. It's, this has aged really well. This has to be one of those I have to say this is a hidden gem on N C D four, because because, like, whenever you bring this one up, like, most people's default response is, like, calling it, like, not that great. And I strongly disagree. I, I think this is probably one of the better comp games on the console. Okay. I don't know, like, people keep asking for a Banjo 3, but I, I guess this is the closest thing we're ever going to get. Like, just, just, uh, just Talkie Kong 64. Like Banjo, 
Banjo Kazooie, that'll give you Oxy Four and then Banjo Tilly. I don't think I'm a big fan of this area either, but let's see. Uh, jump in the sky. It's certainly kind of odd how uh how much how how it's shoehorned in the uh, the rocket the uh the barrel uh, the the cannon barrel uh, the barrel cannons are in this game. Like there's such an iconic aspect of the franchise, and they're just they're just not there for the vast majority of it. Outside of these like designated sections, like it's, uh, I mean, they don't overstay their welcome, and I guess they don't fit in very well in the gameplay anyway. But their their uh, their role is very much noted in the this. Icons for did I need to hit those rings or what, what were they there for? Like they made a sound when I went through them, but did I not need to hit them, hit them all? too dark at some point. Uh, right. Might be like the modern TVs. Because it's usually pretty well lit, but like a lot of the darker areas feel way too dark. Another banana. What the Still, little shit. Uh. God damn it. I've never actually played Donkey Konga. Uh, it's never, never been re-released, never been able to get my hands on it. I've always wanted to play it, though. I've heard it's a lot of fun. How far is this going? Where it's hitting, I, I can't. Do I need the scope for this. I 
disappearing before it hits the target. I think I'm gonna go hit the scope and then come back. Yeah, the rhythm game. Let's get all the bananas. Like, I remember last time I played this, and I just followed all these bananas and got them. Got all of DKs. Like, there's a. You're. I honestly feel like when you first get to an area, your priority should be, like, collecting these bananas and not the golden ones. Especially at this point in the game, where, like, golden bananas are kind of useless. I guess. Well, it's useless is kind of a strong word, but. If I remember correctly, you can get a, a good chunk of them just following the, the trail upward. I think we're going to beat the boss as soon as we can, just to get it out of the way, and then we'll probably just go through the game and just casually get everything. Oh, I I have played a jungle beat. Yeah, I haven't played like the actual rhythm game. So. And how many how many bananas do we need? We might as well check. Like four hundred fifty. Four hundred. Okay. Yeah, it's still a lot, but. Yeah, you have to collect most of the bananas in this area to uh, open the door here. Eh, all right. Monkey core. Warbum Crathius. Okay, she actually has her teleporter now, okay. Super duper simian slam. That's all the potions you're getting, Tiny. <laughs> okay. Right, well, at least I have the, the red switches. Let's we'll have a really strong abdomen to be able to, be able to do that. Pull off that way. No, it's Tiny, no! This is not what I wanted. Okay. Uh... This area is really big.
Ja. Get back up here. Oh gosh. Yeah, they're, they're completely unique area, enemies in each area, aren't there? I mean, like you, you, you see like the uh, the Kremlins everywhere, but most most enemies, there are lots of unique enemies. All right, that's what I'm trying to get at. All right. A lot of this, this area feels very railroaded. Like, there's like a couple of areas you can go off to, but for the most part, it's like, oh yeah, just go forward and collect stuff. Uh, Alright, here we go. If I hand over my, uh, my blueprints, I might as well. We're, we're nearing the end of the game. No change barrel here? Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, where is it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to TMNT, too. <laughs> Three blueprints means, oh, wow. Chunky has to turn any of them. Yeah, I think there's a lot of them I haven't. I think I think I, when I was playing this, I made a deliberately deliberate, deliberate effort to not give the uh, the blueprints over right away, choosing to like wait until the last moment, just so I have like just so I could spawn like uh, gold bananas whenever. Uh, right now, I'm reading uh, Wraithblade on my Kindle. Uh, it's great stuff. I'm going to have to get through. I, I, I need to take some time this weekend to, to go through it. I, I tried reading it today, uh, but I... That was back... I was still tired when I tried, and I read, like, three pages and had to, like... I, I passed out again. It was, it was, it was great, but boy, am I, I'm, I'm having problems waking up in the morning. I'm not sure if it's my diet or uh, my work schedule or what, but... Oh, be cool. Yeah, we are uh, really making progress here. Dum, bum, bum.
We still have a long way to go before we get caught up with everything. But... Yeah, I have. Uh, I've been mostly reading on Kindle lately. I have a couple of books that I've had lying around that I've been trying to read, but for the most part, like I'm Kindle exclusive right now. I love my Kindle. already. Oh. Right, 90 more bananas to go until <laughs> until we're until we, uh we're through. Actually I guess for true 100 percent completion you have to get like everything. I don't think you need like every single banana, but you need, like... I'll have to look at what, like, 100% completion means for this game, because I'm actually not sure. Uh, we need to get all the banana fairies. We need to get everything. Um, probably have to use a guide at some point. It's a pretty big game. Does my Amazon Prime also include Kindle stuff? Uh, no. From what I understand, no. I think you get, like, slight discounts sometimes. That's it. Uh... I had to do? What was that? Yeah, Kindle Unlimited. I don't I don't have that either. Why is...
gimmick of this room. I, I don't remember this room at all. Later, after doing something else, or what? finished Wraith but tonight. I've got to, like, just sit down and finish this thing. I, I've been anxious to move on to another book, but, like, I don't know. I just haven't found the time. And it's, like, probably my uh, my favorite new book I, that I've read in a long time. Uh, well, most of the other stuff I've enjoyed has been, have been classics, but this is, uh, uh, this is still ongoing. Like, I think the second one just came out. airline receding? I don't think so. What am I supposed to do here? It's almost like we've done this already. Ugh. Yeah, I can't I can't even do things I like because I'm so tired all the time. It's really getting unreasonable. Oh, that's why I can't read, why I can't dream as much as I want. No, not this thing. Oh, no. Wait, haven't I already done this? I think I've... I feel like I've already done this before. Oh. Do you have to do this twice? Oh. 
Yeah, fuck you, dog. Yeah. Alright, fuck that up, just yet. <sighs> okay. Welcome to bonus stage. Yeah, if I just kept going straight, I would have been fine, but. Side. I think I'm good. Oh, fuck that up. I got shit. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I, I have it. This isn't. I don't think this is as hard as the one I've uh, I've done before. Welcome done already. Yeah, I just had to stall them, and I just failed. I, Don't keep calm. So we got everything in here? Alright, let's, let's see. We actually managed to accomplish something? Wait a minute, how do you get in? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you have to get like, uh, find the warp pad and then just have Tiny just come in here. Okay. But does she have her own banana in here though? Kind of weird. Okay. Oh, the door stays open. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever game. See where this pad goes to. This will be the first teleport pad we use in this playthrough because it's always exciting. This area at all. There's a window. I can see a, I can hear a fairy, so it's probably past the wall. 
to this house. Oh, there she is. Okay, dude. I'm just like, wait, wait, where did all the dirt go? That's right, I cleaned it. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna go in the house first, and then use this teleportal. Okay. I am a banana. Okay. That's a that's actually where the uh, the melody for that get comes from. Should we go? Oh, fuck yeah. Did I even do the first one? It's like wave rays with the gates, like, ugh. say I needed? Like, for the for that motherfucker ladybug, you needed 50. Oops, okay, oops. Oops. And the controls with this are so smooth. They put so much time and effort into, like, all these mini games. They all feel great. They're, they're kind of above what you normally see. I mean, I think Mario Odyssey might be, uh, better better in that regard, but honestly, it's like a celebration of the genre, honestly. Ah, oh, he beat me. How many coins did he need? How many coins do I need? Oh, you're either winning or in last place, that's hilarious. Diddy Tiny trained for Diddy Kong Racing DS. I didn't go to the gate. I tried taking a shortcut. Ah. Yeah, the races in this game are pretty, pretty brutal. This isn't. I don't think this is nearly as hard as like the ladybug one, the one that like I spurred out on. We could probably replay it if you want to see me do it, but I, I fucking hate the ladybug with a passion. I mean, it, it's a great race, but 
really memorable moment. I love that fight, but love, love it, but it's just, oh, it's hard. out of the way. This rare work gimmick of just like, oh yeah, you have to, to collect all these objects to win races. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Alright. Whatever. Yeah, nowhere near as hard as all Ladybug Rays for sure. Winner, we got it. Oh, my only possession. What a dork. I said Uzumaki, but no, it's... Anything else in here? It doesn't look like it. Was that just... Was that it? Just the thing? Yeah. Alright, I guess we're... Yeah, it looks like there's nothing else in here. I mean, I, I got what I needed, but... Mushroom core. Hey, a lot of tiny Kong related stuff. Right off the bat here. Just pound the mushroom, right? I just didn't have the, the ammo on it.
A lot of cheese. What's this doing here? Sitting here, where are my nuts? <sighs> so hungry, I can't focus. Okay. Music still continuing as if I hadn't done anything. Huh? All right, that's uh, that's two bananas down. And I had to eat my bananas. I had like 85. What the fuck? I got all of the bananas right off the bat. Like, almost all of them. There's like 15 more of it. I got the medal already? I just started. It feels like. Yeah, Square has uh, gone down, gone downhill a lot, <laughs> pretty badly over the past couple of years. Like they put out Fallen Wonderworld. Like it's probably one of the worst games of the past decade, I think. by going through the maze, so I, I'd, I'd want to go through all this several times. Make sure I get everything. I love Hedge Maze. It's been a while since I've been in one. Ugh. This is more complex than the one in RE4! <sighs> Alright. That's an, that's an entire map. Oh, come on! I was right there! I'd love to get out if I could. Get out. Get out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get out, come on. That gunshot isn't even that powerful, it's like, ugh. Get out. I can't wait a quarter of my watermelons. Can I not get to the uh, to the exit in time? I can't even. <laughs> I can't get the banana. I can't leave. Ugh. What are we doing? I should uh, adjust my camera. There we go. What the fuck is that? Wait. Huh. 
Oh, come on. You can climb this tree. What's in here? Oh, excellent. Because of the color, I can't. Okay. Welcome to the Alexa Prize, a university competition to advance AI. I'll get you a social bot now. When you're done, say what? stop, and I'll ask you for your rating. Your interactions will be shared with the university to help the social bot. Alexa, improve. stop. <laughs> I had no idea what she was talking about. Shit. I was just like, wait, what? area before I, uh, I move on to something else, but I don't know. I'm feeling kind of tired of it. Like an hour, an hour of a uh, Dr. Dr. Board day is probably fine. Right? Okay. Damn it. Missed. be kidding me what was that what in the world was that thing in the world to do. If the way it was set up, I thought there was going to be like something, something more to it, but no. Oh, oh jumping back is it's harder. Okay. What do you, what do you guys want me to see me, uh, see me play next? Uh, I was thinking Rogue Squadron, but. Uh, I might go back to go up, set the Wii back up and play some uh, Pikmin again. It looks a little right over here. There has to be something over here too, right? Okay, this side is for Tiny. The Wishbone's last words? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so I gotta come back, get Tiny Kong. Yeah, she can just come in, okay. I'm 
skull. <laughs> Metal. All right. Wait a minute, it's Mumbo Skull, isn't it? No. There's no change barrel. Interesting. I should get Tiny Kong, first of all. Here we go. Actually, I should get these uh, bananas first. Then we'll backtrack. Bananas first, uh, gold bananas later. We almost got the... Excellent. So, that's tiny, so... Okay. All Kong Sniper. Yep, I got all the power-ups. I was so sad when, like, I finally got to the end of the game, and it took me a long time to get past the Punchy Forest, right? And, like, I was really sad when I got to this point in the game and realized that, like, holy shit, like, <laughs> there's an end to these crazy power-ups. Because it really does feel like for a long time that you just get power-up after power-up forever and ever. Let's switch to Tiny Kong. Tiny Kong almost has, like, all the bananas. Like, it's like a root just got everything in the game, all right? Yeah, I think, like, I think once we get the five in that thing, we'll have, like, all of, um, the purple, all the purple bananas in this area. Which is crazy to me. There's so many classic Nintendo games like that I haven't played in forever. I I think Prime 2 is uh, going to be something I, I I stream tonight. A Metroid Prime 2, I should say. Uh, <laughs> we got them all, yes. shit in this game that I just do not remember. I don't remember this shit at all. I mean, to be fair, like, it's over so quickly, it's kind of hard to commit it to memory. Like, this game, like, has a lot of content, but a lot of it's not that hard, so... Alright. I mean, it's interesting enough to keep you engaged, but it's not challenging. It's a lot like, uh, it's a better balanced version of Mario Odyssey, I think. Like, Mario Odyssey has too much shit. Well, I actually, I actually understand the, uh, the complaint with that now. In the boss room, there's a panel on which Kong gives bananas? What are you talking about? Boss room? I think we're gonna get Diddy next. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna take very long to, uh, get through all this game, get through the entire game. I think we're through, like, the bulk of it already. Like, it's just, like, the, the really, uh, really hidden shit, I think. That's, uh, kind of a hidden... Here we go. What? What? Oh, come on! Son of a bitch! I hate these guys. What is it firing toward? Just, just... 
He was firing towards the target. You've got to be kidding me. That, that is stupid. All right. Yeah, Funky's right there, so I'll just reload when I... Is there a way to get up to this thing? Come on, come on. No, shit. Everything in the game now, so after a certain point, coins become useless, which is kind of kind of sad. But... Okay, what the, what the fuck? You serious? This is where the warp pads are? Oh no! Yeah, there, there are these weird like sub warp pads that have some areas in this game are so big they have their own warp pads. So I, I guess this is one of them. Okay. Donkey Kong. Okay. I need to find the Diddy Kong door. And then just leave and get DK. Okay. That's too big. Right. There we go. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a code. It reminds me of that room in Scooby-Doo. Alright. Okay. Did I ever actually beat that game? I don't remember if I, like, rage quit or not. I... Hang on. Hey, it's open. I was like, if it's anything other than one, two, three, four, I'm at, I'm at, a, I'm at a loss for what this is. Oh, it's it? All right. Yeah, I, I don't remember a lot of this level very well. I, I tend to, like, be uh, ready for the game to end when I reach this point, so... I think a lot of these bananas I don't remember all that well. I know the first part of the game really well. Like, everything up to Bungie Forest, like, I know very well. But this is, like, yeah. <laughs> I just kind of forget about it. I mean, I, I want to play this game more often uh, and get back and uh, have this stuff, like, memorized. But uh, it hasn't happened yet. Okay, we're going to get DK next. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll have more bananas and we'll have uh, the banana meta with DK. We should, yeah, I think we'll go back and, and see what... Okay, what's this? Oh. All the bananas in this area are, like, dense. They must have done that to uh, keep people from bitching about their pink too. <laughs> Got it. Got my banana medal. All right, excellent. Okay, so what is this? Mm. 
Quran? I do this incorrectly, apparently. Okay, I don't see how I was supposed to know what order to pull them in. I thought it didn't matter, but just by looking at the, the signs on the wall, I was just like, all right. Yeah, we got it. Bump a bump a bump bump bump. Okay, what's what's in here? Ooh, we're gonna see your favorite part. Oh, minecart level! Okay, I don't, I don't remember this at all. Alright. Yeah, I don't remember this one at all. I don't remember this at all! What the fuck is this? Okay, uh... I need like 25, right? What is that? Yeah, I don't remember this at all. Hey, that was I gotta go back to the same area. I don't remember this. I, th I didn't know all this kind of stuff. So. I mean, it has been a long time since I last played this.
<laughs> Grab this banana. I want to get out of this spooky hole. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay. We gotta go see who the... What's on the other side here? Chunky, alright. Yeah, we're getting through Keep Creamy Castle pretty quickly. Uh... Yeah, I think after uh, we get Chunky, we'll probably go to the boss room and, and see where we're at when it comes to uh, beating the boss. Yeah, once we beat the boss here, I think we're gonna go back and uh, get everything in all the other, all the earlier, all the earlier earlier levels, and make sure uh, we're good to go for uh, the final fight. I'd like to have it 100 percent before I before I beat the final boss, honestly. <laughs> Hang on. I hit that square on. This game. that open with my fist okay another one we, we've done this already haven't we yeah okay so they so they do reuse mini games okay that's that's weird so they padded this game out to fuck okay. yeah was it yeah we did this today even so I'm just now on the stream so yeah so they do reuse uh, the same mini games over and over again I guess they did it this way so I couldn't just get lucky. Welcome to bonus day. Yeah, remember how I got lucky in the last one? Ugh. That was just alright.
shit! <laughs> what am I doing? Ah. Welcome to bonus day. I'm in the dark. Shit, the bat. Got him. Okay, I should, be, I should be able to do it this time. Two more to go. Shot. I can't be the only banana back here. There's a there's a couple of them. Any more bananas to go. Shit, we're just raking them in. Raking them in. Okay. My bananas. Oh. Yeah, I haven't even played as Chonky in uh, Creepy Castle all that much. I only have like those 10 bananas. All right. uh... Chonky, you just disturbed the grain. Okay. It's a trick. Like, hang on, is there. I guess you were supposed to just find the hidden one. I I haven't been able to watch Zoe streams. I, I I'm too busy. <laughs> I have no I have no time for that kind of thing. It's it's a shame, but all right. Let's see how many how many bananas we have left to collect. All right, that's uh, I think we're up. Us. We're a good ways into the level now. That might be a good place to stop and play something else. I don't know. Like, I started, um... I started... Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door last night, and I really want to get back into it. But... Okay. Okay, what is this about trough and scoff? Let's see. Like, what is it you want me to look at? Oh, I can't even look at it through my thing. Uh, can I copy it? Yeah, I forgot this was here. <laughs> I never come back here. Okay. Do I think Sony needs to buy Ubisoft? Uh, no. I think Sony just needs to leave the, the industry. I, I don't want them. I don't like them here. Oh, they've ruined everything about gaming. Oh no! The reaction to getting Krista? Uh, I, I'm just gonna ignore them until they do something uh, extremely gratuitous. I mean, they're already like towing the line a lot, but uh, I think I don't even like the fact that they're still talking about Nintendo, honestly. Like, if you're a former Nintendo employee, you should be doing something else. Like, I just, like, I don't know, you don't see, like, Howard Lincoln coming back and, like, 
talking shit about like uh, his experience working for Nintendo. Like it's not, it's not something that happened. We're almost there already. And I have a hard level to get through. Well, I, I want Ubisoft uh, to go bankrupt too. I, I don't like that. I, uh,. Oh, they haven't put out anything good ever, honestly. Like, I, I, I can't even name the games they put out these days. I, 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 I'm that tuned out of what they did. Yeah. Siri is so straightforward after this whole game. Excellent, okay. That's just what I needed, more uh, chunky bananas. Uh, yeah, where is he? Where's that? Where did it found the first? This is the, this is the nearest one I can think of, is the one down here, just the uh, one we just went to. Yeah, they don't they don't have the talent to make games anymore. Like they are, I think, the premier example in this industry of what happens when you let like diversity take the reins. Um, like you have a bunch of uh, female developers who just can't make anything, so they're just you know trying to milk people off of microtransactions stuff they've already done essentially, and uh, I don't think it's gonna work. I, I think I think uh, Ubisoft is dead in the water. Yeah, it's interesting that like there's been no major controversies regarding them, even though they haven't released anything in forever. Like, what was the last major game they put out? Like, I just... Ugh. Oh, come on! That was a complete waste of my time. I need, like, what, 90 bananas? I come this door. Let's keep falling. This entire area is just nothing but like long empty hallways. It's pretty boring, honestly. With like the occasional enemy you have to beat up. Yeah, not, not a big fan of this area. Like all things considered. Like I think I like Crystal Caves more. Crystal Caves' problem is that it's like it's too annoying, but to like get around. But other than that, it's pretty solid. This one is just ugh. Beyond Good and Evil 2 might not exist anymore. Yeah, no one's going to uh, to talk about that or bring that up at all. Uh, hang on. Like that game is a travesty, and, and nobody's talking about it at all. Like it, it won Game of the like Best of like E3 awards, and yet it's dead in the water. And no one's talking about it. People want to talk about like uh, Metroid Prime Three and Bayonetta Three all the fucking time, but like Beyond Good and Evil Two, ooh, don't you dare bring that up. Is there? Oh, there is a, a randomizer. Okay, I, I really gotta start toying around with randomizers one of these days. Uh, There's something sad about the fact that like these guys have nothing else. They've been helping you the entire game, but can't do anything more for you. It's just ugh. what's down this way? Oh, Tiny Kong, wasn't it? 
So what's in here? Chunky punch them out. Yeah, they really should have put out like a rabbit's game immediately after. Immediately after Mario Rabbits. I don't know what they were thinking with that one. I mean, they, they, they might be trying to like make make a rabbit's reboot for like next gen consoles or some shit, but I, I don't see that working. Yeah, for them at all. I mean, I, I've hated rabbits ever since they, uh, they cut Rayman out of the series. I don't know, like, Mario Rabbids was surprisingly good for what it was, but... I was like wondering, what am I missing? Some of these pieces go together way too well. Oh. Oh, it's like, wait, okay. Excellent. Here's our trump spot. Yeah, I think we're at the point now where we can uh, expect to go fight the boss like after we're through this this, uh, this room. I don't know. I have fun throughout the all area. But my problem with it is like it's way too big for what it is. Like I don't know. Like I think Frantic Factory has like a lot of like cool, interesting like things built into the level, and this this really does. Like there are all these interesting rooms like. This is like nothing but hallways, with like bananas at the end of them, basically. Um, let's go to the other, let's go down here. Let's see, let's see. Alexa, what's the day? Today is Saturday, April 30th. I'm just like, is it really Saturday? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like Saturday. Like shit, the past two days have felt like they've gone on forever. I always feel that way whenever I get like really exhausted, like just the time just stops. I'm just like, yeah, it is Saturday, so I have another day. How streaming ahead of me. What's the gimmick here? Oh, I see.
What did hitting the switch do? This balloon is driving me nuts. It's... Oh, you can jump on the chains. Okay, I see. Yeah, I didn't see them come down. Okay. Okay, it's weird. I must have been looking to chat or some shit. Okay, that was weird. All right. that, was, that was like the simplest thing in the world, and I was just like, I made it like a big, big ordeal. Like, how do I play this? Like, should have Dark Side Bill. Uh, yeah. What do we play this game? Do you ever one hundred percent this game? Like, how far did he get into it? I know he played it. Uh, I mentioned this earlier. That's where the banana. This is where the banana song came from. Uh. I'm not sure how far he got to the game. I didn't actually watch much of the play. I should do a live reaction to DSP playing this, because I, I really want to see him, like, race the Beatle. Like, when it comes to, like, legitimately, like, hard things in games, I just love watching DSP, like, try his hand at it. <laughs> the Beatle is, like, would destroy him, I think. Uh, that's kind of my assumption. Well, at any rate. Got it. Now, the Beetle has my vote for being, like, probably the hardest uh, banana in the game. Like, I can't think of anything that that's rougher, honestly. Um, if there is, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll gladly, like, compare the two, but uh, my vote goes to the Beetle. So. Oh. What is with me and falling into acid, like, every time? Beaver, beaver bother? Is that the one where you have to chase beavers into the into the hole? That that's not that's not anywhere near as hard as, as the the beetle rays. I don't. I really struggle with the uh, the beetle. Welcome to bonus day. Link Kosh. What the fuck is Kosh? Easy. Is it? I don't. I don't remember having trouble with the beavers. I mean, I don't. I'm not sure if I've done it in, the, in this playthrough yet, but I don't. I don't think I do. Typically, I've, I've always had a problem with the the lady with the beetle. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good to end. Uh, I think we're good to fight the boss. So where's the nearest teleportal? Yeah, we did a lot more in this area than I thought we would on a first playthrough. 
Um, I was expecting this to get all the bananas in bounds, but... Fight the boss in bounds, but no. Two hours, yeah. <laughs> Just like, we've been playing this for two hours, hard to believe. Yeah, the game holds up. Um, flaws aside, I, I really enjoy this game. I always have, and I think I always will. This one up here, isn't that? Yep, here we go. I think Chunky might have enough to end this. Yeah, we should play Diddy Kong Racing. I've, uh, I started a playthrough a while ago, never actually went back and finished it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I thought he would have enough! Alright, well, every little bit counts. I hate it when you only have, like, five bananas or something. Come on, you're right there! Get it! Get it! Yeah, I've been playing a lot of F-Zero X lately, and I haven't. I haven't, like, um... I haven't played, like, on console in forever. This is the first time I've played N64 in, like, over a year, I think. Alright, we got the boss. Thank you. Really? Is it random? Because, like, I seem to remember, like, it landed on Donkey Kong back in the day. And, like, it's not even really a lanky fight, because, because of how it's structured, like, oh, okay. Famous boss in anything ever. I, I can't believe they did this. They had a horror themed level. They could have done anything. They could have fight a fucking ghost, a vampire girl. Like they, they could have done anything. But what do they do? Uh, you fight a giant cardboard cutout of Carol. <laughs> like what? What were they thinking? Okay. fight from what I remember. Like, it's like it's gimmicky, but that's an interesting it's like different, but I don't think that means it's good. Yeah we got him. Like this is this is what they came up with. Like, this has to be the worst boss in, like, the entire game for sure. Oh, fuck.
Did get him? And was this boss made for because of budget cuts or what? Like, what, what's the what is the reason for this boss? Disappearing before I can find myself. Oh shit, he's gone. Okay, yeah, when you miss, you like lose your Kong, so you have to send out someone else. I got him. Is it the end of the fight? Oh. Compared to everything else we fought at this point, no, it's not fine. Like, it's a cardboard cutout! I should do it. Got him. <laughs> we got him. We beat this shit out of the cardboard cutout. Ah. Uh. They just give up. No. <laughs> what are these idiots doing? <laughs> this was their big plan? Like, what are they gonna do now? They were just like, you know, they, they just give up. So, I already got, we got the seventh, uh... Alright, we are good to go. Okay, should we take on King K. Roll now, or... I, I think I do want to wait and, like, collect more stuff before I do that. Like, blueprints in particular. I'd like to have, like, everything before I, uh, I do that. I'm not even sure if it's possible to get past the final door, actually. And do I have the... Magic Factory all comes. I need the claw. Crowns do. Does anyone remember? What happens if you get them all? Yeah, I have the Nintendo coin, but not the Rareware one. Uh, how do you get the Rareware one? Is that the one that Cranky gives you? For getting enough banana medals? Yeah, because you need the Rareware token to get past the final door. Like a bunch of banana. A bunch of bananas.
and take a break. Yeah, I'm about ready to play something else. I, I'm really enjoying this game. We're definitely going to uh, keep playing it, but... <sighs> yeah, I got the Nintendo one, yeah. Unlock all the locks? Huh? Oh, there's an eighth key, okay. I think it's for Lanky, actually. Yeah, I think I can get that now. Let's, let's go into that. Let's wear in here. I was like, what? wait, why wasn't the third key unlocked? I, that makes no sense. Like, huh? And I proceeded with the game anyway? Huh? All right. I need now. Let's see. Should probably check the interiors for every area. I mean, I guess we'll do that as we go through the all of them. Make sure we get everything. See, I, get, I, get, I think I might probably already got this. Might as well check, though. I mean, it's worth checking. It really sucks when you like overlook something obvious like that. Whatever you, uh, you're going for 100% completion. You already got it. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, what do I need to jungle James? Let's see. Five out of five. Oh, we got all the. I said we got everything in Jungle James. I think we might have missed some banana fairies. Yeah, Tiny Kong could get, get the banana medal. I think we might as well just go to Angry Aztec. Gold man on us first, and then we'll worry about like uh, everything else. I think I'm about ready to call it quits I, for this game. I, I'm ready to play something else. I 
I didn't even think I'd beat like uh, beat the castle so quickly. I thought it would take a lot longer. That's a chunky thing. It's not working. Oh, oh, do you need the boulder? Wait, hang on. What do you do exactly with this? Is there a boulder in here? I mean, there are boulders outside. I don't know if you can carry them in, though. I guess I can check, but... No, it doesn't. Mm. Well, what am I supposed to do that? Maybe I've gotten it already? There's something else to do? But the door was locked. Yeah, there's no way. I kill the bees and I don't get rid of them, maybe? doing? That was, uh, disappointing. Yeah, I guess I must have already got it. I went through that elaborate puzzle for a, a, a basic bitch hint. Frankly, I liked you better when you were alive. <sighs> I love you. Did I already get this, sir? Believe in this game. I I really want to get through it. Okay, this will this will be one of the the main games I'm playing for the at the in the future. 
I must have already got it, or maybe I'm not putting it on. Okay. I must have already got this one. Yeah, yeah, the, the doors were, the door was already open, so let's, let's just assume I got it already. So I guess I'll look. See, I want to play something, eh, something a little bit different. Okay. Yeah, so no Banjo to me or Conquer, I think. At least not right now. Ugh. Let's see. Yeah, I'm sure it's been a long time since I played this one, so it's probably why it's uh probably why it's being so finicky. Now one of the reasons I don't like streaming in 64 is how is due to how long it takes to get get everything working properly. <laughs> Check it out, bros! We're going back to where it all began. <sighs> now, this is a game I don't think anyone talks about anymore. Melee still has an audience because of its competitive scene, but typically Smash Bros. games get, get replaced uh, the instant the next one comes out. And this one is like... <laughs> This is the first one, so... I remember being disappointed with this game uh, when I first played it, because I, I I had played Melee first, and I I only picked this up just to uh, just because I didn't have a GameCube yet. Ah, damn, I love this intro so much. So much soul. The Melee one is better, but this one's pretty good, too. <laughs> Yoshi Story, yep, Star Fox, aw, oh, man. I haven't seen this intro cutscene in forever. Oh, yes! Yeah, I bought this game used. So, uh, what had happened is that I had actually... Un I actually had all the characters unlocked already, except for, like, Luigi for some reason. So, uh... I erased the file so I could have the experience of unlocking them again, but I, I never actually got around to doing it, so... I'm actually not sure how you unlock, uh... Alexa, how do you unlock NAS in Super Smash Bros. N64? Here's something I found on the web. According to Fandom.com, it is unlocked after completing Burn Blades Tower. That's a load of crap. What the fuck is Burn Blades Tower? Alright, whatever. Yeah, this game, it, it's weird to play this again and see how, like, how different, uh, this... Yeah, 
Yeah, should that be the goal for the streams when Loch Ness? <laughs> I think it should be. Um, Three, two, one, go. Yeah, classic mode is like the same thing over and over again. Like uh, your your charge moves don't have like um, like the charge up period. Like it, it's 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 weird to come back to this one and see how different it is. Like it, it feels way different than um, than melee does in a lot of ways. And I bet you it doesn't have like side B moves, yes, which is kind of an odd omission. Remember that was what I, what I was most excited about when I got in melee. Was it like holy shit, side B special moves? Hard mode with three lives. Okay. Uh. All right. Let's uh. Let's do our. Let's do this practice run, and then we'll go and try to unlock the house. Yeah, I don't think I really play on hard mode that much in this game. I don't know. I I played this classic mode so much so many times as a kid. I remember every stage, like every level, it's ugh, so nostalgic. I mean, I, I guess this game was mind blowing back when it first came out too. I, I don't know how popular it was on the on N sixty four. It was melee when I feel like it really the series of really expanded. Oh yeah, break these targets off. Oh, like that. these days, things like this wouldn't be possible. Like I remember being so pissed when like Brawl. Uh, got rid of the character individual ones and introduced the uh, the static ones. Like, that, that was so, so disappointing. What were they thinking? Like, I don't know. I think it's like things like this that really made uh, the first two Super Smash Bros. games special. Oops. Like, there's all this stuff that you wouldn't expect to have. Like, you know, like the trophy system and and things like that, and all of that has been stripped away for more characters. I don't know, like, I definitely like Ultimate, but like, I, I don't definitely don't think I'll uh, I'll look back on it as fondly as Melee. I don't think I'll look back on anything as fondly as Melee. Uh, that game is just uh, something else. And the bumpers, uh, we're not in melee. It's weird to think like things that were in this game that didn't make the cut to melee. Like I think there's like some, you know, Banjo Kazooie was uh, was uh, planted at uh, one point. Uh, the bumpers I think didn't return to brawl. No. We got him. Oh, for sure. Like, the fan base for Melee are probably some of the biggest, like, pretendos out there. I don't talk about it much because, um, you know, Melee is kind of irrelevant, like, outside of its, uh, its niche, but... Like I, I really do hate melee fans with a passion, and it's not because like I'm a I don't I just like the game I love the game but um, the fans are just just destroyed like something that I legitimately love more than anything like melee is probably the reason I love Nintendo as much as I do, and to see like these people just ruin something I, I care so much about was <sighs> it was it's pathetic I. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I remember back in the day when you when we used to do that do that when we used to like pause the game and like change the camera angles to get like cool 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 images of like characters just taking hits. It was that was so much fun. You can amuse yourself so much with like this game back in the day. Like the uh you know the the the, the Fox McCloud like uh, conversations in melee like there's there's so much. I, yeah, E3 is soon, and uh, I think we're gonna get some new, hot new games, and I hope we get something, something great. Um, I don't know, I, I don't think Breath of the Wild 2 is gonna cut it for me. I, I love the original Breath of the Wild, but, uh, you know, something really new. I don't know, Nintendo Switch Sports was great, and, uh, I, I... I really want to see more stuff like that. That just feels like it's built off of st stuff I, I loved like 10 years ago, 10, 20 years ago. Yeah, Wii Sports is almost 20 years old. It will be in, a, <laughs> in a 2026. All right, here we go. I get all the platforms this time. Yeah, we're definitely gonna switch characters. I'm thinking Link. I I think I mean Samus back in the day because like the uh, the charge shot was OP. Oh, Captain Falcon maybe. If we're gonna do hard mode, I think I think Captain Falcon is probably the best character in the game. Uh, like like in modern in modern um Smash Bros, I think people say Flax is better, but I think in this one. Yeah, we haven't taken any loss. I, I think I can handle hard mode. Uh, no problem. Hi, low to and fro. Come on, Kirby, let's go. Yeah, this game was like my introduction to Kirby. I, I I don't think I've ever even seen Kirby before this point. Before I played this. And that's been the case for like every single Smash Bros. game. Like I, I've been introduced to characters I'd never really heard of before. Um, you know, Ultimate had Dragon Quest. Wait, what did Dread Ultimate have? Maybe, maybe that's why I don't care about Ultimate, because like none of the characters were <laughs> new to me at that point. I just took that explosion like a boss. This game never stops being fun. Like, I never... I never stop enjoying this game. It's just... I don't know, like, the newer games just replace it. Even, like, even when I first played this, uh, <laughs> Melee was already out, so it's like, uh, this game... I think I think I, I really missed out on, like, playing this game in a tape when, like, there was nothing else to compare it to. I believe this came out before Prime, before Fusion, before like any of these modern Metroid games. This is like pure Super Metroid Samus. Unfiltered by like the shitty sequels now. It's crazy how good like Metroid has been over the years that that people still like <laughs> still there are still people who like don't really care for anything like past Super Metroid. Like plenty of people don't like Prime, plenty of people I think I'm sure haven't played Dread yet. Uh, fusion was always kind of controversial. Samus is like the only female character in the in the roster, isn't she? Oops, they got me. Shit, that was a really good shot. Yeah. They Wait, did I, I didn't even kill her! What the fuck? I don't think Jigglypuff is female. Um, 
we'll have to like compare the uh, the images, like uh, the gender differences. I think she is. I think it is a male Jigglypuff. Can Jigglypuff be male? I think they can. Alexa, can Jigglypuff be male? Sorry, I don't know that. Oh come on, Alexa, you're useless. Oh yeah, the metal the metal fight is so hard in this game. I used to like struggle so much to get this to work. This is why I always played as Yoshi back in the day, because like Yoshi has like a really cheap move that can just ruin him. It's like a super metal Mario because like he, he's sick. He like you can't even throw him. He just hits the ground when you when you try. Yeah, if you can get him off the edge, he stays off. But like he's so OP, it, it doesn't happen. Oh, does she? Okay. I had no idea. Yeah, 75% female, okay. Imagine being a male Jigglypuff, like everyone would make fun of you. Okay, uh... This has to be like the most popular 2D game on N64. I can't think of anything else that's like bigger than it. Yeah, Yoshi Story, like most of the 2D games weren't that popular. Yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi Story. Mischief Maker is kind of is kind of niche. I really gotta play it, by the way. I I have that on my shelf, uh, but I never got around to actually playing it. Complete. Yeah, I think we can handle hard mode. I wish we had like done it right away instead of like just having to go through classic mode twice. But oh well, let's just let's just enjoy our time with the game. These things were replaced by the fighting wireframes. I think like these things are a lot cooler. Honestly, like the wireframes look kind of generic. I kind of like the idea of just fighting like evil versions of just the characters. But... Yeah, there are legit things you get attached to in this game. Like the metal, the metal Mario fight is like legit, probably one of the harder fights in the series. Just like it's consistently difficult because of like you can't, you can't throw it. Pokemon. Oh, it's in this game. Yeah, this is Gen 1, so you only get Gen 1 Pokemon here. There's no food in this game, is there? Oh, th yes, there is. There's a Maxim Tomato. you completely with but that's that's their gimmick all right you Kirby all right well Mario's up B is better in the stand than it is in the sequels Oh, look at this, I'm getting cheered for. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Come on, I got them all, too. Alright. Okay, final stage, master hand. Is that late already? Wow.
Oh, you can't dodge in midair either. Okay. Yeah, I tend to rely on that a lot when I fight Monster Hand and in the follow up. So, yeah, Mario's like forward attack is different. Like he doesn't have like the meteors, meteor uh, quality. Crazy hand, even that's how that's how that's how simple things were back then. You would just fight Master Hand at the end. Oh, oh man, I got I lost lost my footing. Got him. That was fun. That was actually pretty fun. Even after all this time, you know, over twenty years. Uh, 25 years, I think, now. All well, 24. Next year will be 25. Normal clear, Speed King. That was cool. Strennan was there even back then? <sighs> okay, fuck it. That fucker's been around forever. <laughs> R.I.P. Sakurai. Wait, Sakurai's still alive? Now, a lot of these people in the credit sequence are dead. Yeah, see? Iwata's there. Yeah, he's still he's dead. Yeah, Yamauchi's dead. You are great. <laughs> yes, fuck yeah, I am. Okay, uh, hard mode, three lives. Let's see if we can pull it off. So satisfying, like, hitting people with... Is the Knee of Justice in this game? No, it's not. A lot of, like, the iconic moves come from Melee. And this kick is awesome, but that that's not in any other uh, Smash Bros. game. They took that out of Melee. Like, see how it, like, catches some fire? Fuck him. Got him. There's a reason the Falcon Punch became so iconic. It was like easily the best move back in the day. Other than like a fully charged like Samus shot.
Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think he kept the up shoulder. Yeah, here we go. It's weird he just made up, like, Falcons. They just made up Falcons moves after this game. Considering how, like, iconic he is. Yes, I love my boy Fox. This was Fox at the height, height of his popularity, like 1998, right after the right after the release of Star Fox 64, one of the best games ever made. Like, oof. oh wow, we do this a lot. About how, about how like big a stage is. Even when you're winning, it's like. Is he taunting it? What? <laughs> Did his buddy just shoot him down? He was just like, "Yeah, I'm sick of this shit. Get on, get off the great box." Our wing clear. Yeah, should we just, uh, we'll, we'll try it. Like I said, all the stages are original. And they all take advantage of, like, the character's unique moveset. Like, there's a reason I'm so, like, adamant about this. Like, uh, I don't know if Sakura has ever given a statement about this. I mean, I, I guess these aren't super popular modes, but I do miss them. I suppose, like, making a unique one for, like, all the characters would be ridiculous. But you can't hug onto the target. I love Luigi's expression. He just looks like, ah, what am I getting into? Yeah, when, I don't think I'll... I'm really anxious for a, a Melee to be re-released on NSO because I expect... Uh, that I am almost certain that'll be the first time I replay through the game ever. Um, I've never gone through Melee again. Um, like, for all I had to, because I got a new Wii and you can't transfer your save data over from, from an old Wii to a new one for some reason. Um... But Melee, I've never actually had to do that. So I'm curious, like, how well Melee holds up when, like, you, you go through it again, like, from the start. I mean, like, 99% of players would never do it, but I, I've done everything in Melee, <laughs> like, over the years. So, like, I am uh, I am ready to, uh, to start from the beginning. I mean, I'm not going to delete my save file or anything, but... Down. Yeah, I really gotta find some old GameCube games because I think uh, I think I. 
Oh, what the fuck was that? Idiot! Show me your moves. What the fuck was that? Smash love. Giant Donkey Kong is brutal back in the day. It's King Donkey Kong. Okay. Like, I don't understand why, from the very beginning, like, DK did not have his role. Like, they didn't add that shit to, like, Smash 4. Like, then he suddenly has, like, the role he always had in DKC. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, don't, this is, like, the peak popularity for DKC, so I don't understand why they didn't capitalize on that. Like, DK is not a super popular character, I think, for that reason. What an idiot! Okay, Pokeball Death. DK Defender. Versus eight. I want of every Kirby. Three, two, one, I got them both. What the fuck is that? Hang on, what was that item? Oh, it's a Pokeball! Shit! Fuck. Is Snorlax even in Ultimate? I, I can't remember seeing it. It was such a mainstay for a long time, and now I, I can't remember. It's, it's weird, like, have they cut out any Pokemon? Damn it. All right, all right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Fuck that. Samus Aaron. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna get through it. I could have done it, but it's like eh. Crap Onyx was in this game.
I got it. We have to get to the fighting polygon team. That's gonna be a nightmare. Ugh. There's no way I'm gonna win. All those Super Smash Bros. on 64? All time classic, it still holds up. Yeah, that was a lot more fun than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. The main problem is like a lack of content, but. Yeah, we're playing some weird games today. Ubisoft? Uh, no. You were behind all the worst game of my childhood? They were behind the shit. Unbelievable. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is, I think, uh, safe to say, the worst game I own on N64. I, I can't think of anything. I own that I hate more than this. It's just unbelievably awful. And uh, I haven't played it in years. And I've been wanting to um, to stream it for the longest time, but... Okay. Yeah, back in the day, I used to um, run through this game in a couple of, and I get 45 minutes, but I don't know how well I'm going to do this time. Last time I tried to play this, I lost at like level three or something. Oh, uh, it takes the memory pot. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. I love the soundtrack. This is from the show. Oh, no, I remember this. No! <laughs> he doesn't talk in the movie? Okay. But, okay. Oh, wow, okay. How is... How do you switch shoots again? Okay. If I remember correctly, like the uh, the defensive suit is actually overpowered, um, and that the charge is like can get you through the entire game. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm just like, ugh. I I grew up with Superman 64. I was able to beat this. I, I never. Got far enough in Superman 64 to really, to really um, evaluate it, but uh, yeah, I. Eat. This game like kind of rused me because I think I played this back in a time before I knew that games could be bad. So I go into this like expecting like a fucking Batman Beyond game, like sleek, badass, like fucking uh, video game, right? And this is what I get, like <laughs> this cheap piece of shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what, like, the um, the best beat-em-up on NC4 is, but it's not this. <laughs> what is 
just a shit. We. Oh no. What is this garbage? Like this wouldn't pass as an indie game, like these days. Like I, I don't, I don't understand how this ever came out. Like it sold itself based on the license, but I. It's weird how much of this I remember. I have gone through this like several times, so. There are like five levels, and they're all shit. Uh... That one up. Yeah, there are lives in this game. Wait, I just went around in a circle. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I played those. Like, it, it has to have been, like, over a decade. Like, I think longer since I last played S0X. I'm surprised it's still in fine working order. All right. I think that's the problem with the game, is that like it seems like it might get... It's one of those beat-em-ups that feels like it might actually get better, because it kind of tricks you, because it has this, like... It has, like, uh... It has multiple suits. Uh, it has, uh... It seems to be pay, uh, to pay attention to the source material. Like, it has characters from the movie? Uh... But eventually you realize that, like, it's just the same thing over and over again. I don't remember what the, the final fight with the Joker is at all. Look at this! What a joke! I knew this was overpowered, but damn! What the fuck was that? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, in the movie you get like this big chase sequence, but now <laughs> what? <laughs> that always cracked me up as a kid. Like he whips out these moves he does not use in the actual fight against him. Like, ah. Uh. Oh, no. Wait, who's this blonde chick? She's not in the movie. It's nothing. Okay. Oh, no. It somehow comes off as uh, more intimidating in the movie. Yeah, I think if you switch suits, you actually lose the suits you gained. So there's there's no reason to change ever. And you still look like Sills from the movie. This might be like concept art for what the movie was going to look like. It doesn't look final. I, I think that's how this works, right? Who know me better than you?
Bro, in the movie, he just flies in, and yet they kind of make a stage out of this. Oh, whatever. What's the point of coming in here? There was a hidden room and just why would I why did I need to go in there? Alright. There are these alternate routes that don't really go anywhere and there's no reason to take them. Like just just go straight to the boss. Like you have the most overpowered attack in the game anyway. Bro, it's an elevator! What are you listening in on? Okay. I went to the key, okay. Whew. This is like, just as bad as I remember it. Holy shit. I mean, like, it's one of those games that, like, you don't realize is, like, as terrible as it is until you finish it. Like, I remember I beat this, like, a couple of hours after I got it. I was just, like, I just go downstairs, and uh, I'm just, like, that was the worst game I've ever played. And at the time, I think it was. Uh, honestly, I, I played worse in uh, 2022. Yeah, see, see, one of the things that makes this overpowered, it's not just the attack. It's, uh, it makes the enemies stagger. So, like, they can't really do anything to stop you. Yeah, I, I should probably, like, stick that throw in some standard attacks so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, see, so, like, they'll actually... For normal attacks, they'll actually, like, uh... Like, try to fight back. But for this one, like, they, they recoil so much, and your 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 frame... Your, your um... Uh, how do you call this? Your frame recovery is, like, so, so quick that you can just, um, just keep charging before they can recover. It is insanely OP. Um, it, it, like, trivializes the entire thing. Like, I discovered this, like, without a guide or anything. Like, I just figured it out on my own. Like, I just played around with all the suits and realized, like, oh, yeah, the defensive one is the best. And it just... Ugh. Okay. And yeah, he just he just runs off. Again, like, look at that. Like, it's so overpowered. <laughs> Set that up. <laughs> like, when did he have the time to, uh...
Yeah, this is the this is the midpoint of the game. We're already like about halfway through. Does he even go to Arkham Asylum in the movie? I don't think he does. For some reason, you start off with, like, the, um, in stealth mode in this stage, and there's no real reason for it. I'm not even sure why it's in the game, but when you start off here, you just end up just moving like that. I don't even know what this guy is supposed to be. A snake man, probably. Even pressing it up against. Okay. Hey, okay. I remember this level. I remember this area. Oh, so they're in the room. Oh, well, that's that's, inter that's interesting. I never noticed that before. Okay. Yeah, that's all there is to the game. Like, you just walk forward and then, like, press uh, the left control stick, uh, the left C stick, the C button, to just wail on these guys until you get to the boss, and then you have to do it again. Like, I don't think there's any any point in the game where you have to do anything different. Uh, that's actually the main reason I wanted to play it, was, like, just kind of demonstrate just how OP this, this strategy is. I... Uh, and, like, is the soundtrack just the same thing, like, throughout the entire thing? I don't think it's changed at all. I don't know. Like, how hard would it have been to make a good Batman game, you know? Like, the Spider-Man game is, like, top tier. Like, to be honest with you, like, the Spider-Man. Spider the Spider-Man one is my uh, favorite game, superhero game ever, actually. Um... Wait, I can't go back there for some reason. Why can't I... St hang on. I can't reach him. What the fuck? There we go. I can't walk back there for some reason. All right. Okay. There's Joker. Did you really die in Arkham?
Excuse the session, Batman. Let's put a smile on that face. Yeah, he can like disappear in this game, and that's not a power he has in in the actual show. There he goes. The actual movie. single time like he only gets away because he has some kind of elaborate trap that you fall into every single time Lose my phone. Hey Siri, where are you? I had to lose track of something. Tim left. <laughs> is is that one of the one of the like the weird um, issues I had growing up watching like uh, these cartoons is that like who the fuck was Robin and Teen Titans? Like I I had no idea. I had no idea. Like I we always saw it that like they they had to have something to do with each other, right? Like uh, we, we knew there was more than one Robin, and then we knew that this Robin left. It just uh, the continuity made no sense, and it was just. <laughs> Trying to figure this out was was ridiculous. All right. As a communications engineer, but why, why didn't you lead with the whole I know you were Robin thing? I don't know, whatever. Well, why doesn't the government have better control over this kind of thing? Wait, even if you took control of that one satellite... Me or am I moving faster all of a sudden? So we gotta watch out for that satellite. I don't know if it even ever hits, like, in the game. Like, it's part of the plot, because it was part of the movie, but I don't think there's any segment where it actually matters. this it's like it's like i'm fighting mother brain okay what the 
Fuck. Why do you... What the fuck? Huh? Sound was stage four? I... I had no recollection of that. That wasn't a level. That was an entire screen. That... That thing was five times as long. I wouldn't have considered it a love. What? Huh? Uh, the fuck was that? How do you have? That is not a level four. There is no level four. They skipped it. I fought one enemy, a stupid robot computer. Damn. I complete. I, I didn't notice that as a kid. Okay, let's see if level five makes up for this. This is the final level. We're near the end of the game. Yeah, I've gone through the entire thing without losing a single life. I wonder if I'll be able to beat the Joker. I don't remember what the final boss is, is like. Uh, so I wonder if it's like actually... Okay, well, what is the final boss going to be like? There was no boss to stage four, huh? I love how this game just glosses over the fact that Bonk is fucking dead. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna, gonna get my ass kicked. Yeah, I might die once. There we go. We're going to keep this streak up as long as I possibly can take it. Did I not get the key? Wait, hang on. Is there a key? Why can't I get in that thing?
There's nothing in this room. And then we'll shoot the one with the... Yeah, the wings. Yeah, you can't actually use the wings, but all you can do is just glide with them. It's kind of awkward. And only with the nimble suit. Like, I haven't talked about the different suits, because they really don't matter. Like, they have, like, different, wildly different abilities, but the only one that... The only way... The only, uh... What is going on? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, can I break this down? There we go. But hang on, like, we went in the other door. Like, we listened to the other, he was supposed to be in the other room. Ah, whatever. Hey, he's dead. I got the key. The game made it sound like he was supposed to be in the other room, but alright. Even good platforming segments. Like, what were they thinking? Uh, didn't they have control over the satellite already? Ah, uh, whatever. I think this game might be the reason I hate, like, old-school beat-em-ups, because it's so bad. How does Joker have this many goons, anyway? Ugh. playing this game i i've been wanting to stream it for a long time because uh you know this is a game i grew up with like one of the worst games i okay we go it's the twins okay and what are they doing to that okay okay why do they have the ability to disappear okay wait in a minute they didn't even fight me what huh i thought that was supposed to be a boss fight but they just leave what they what they accomplish by doing that? All right. Oh no, he was the Joker the entire time. Oh no. The twist doesn't even make any sense, but okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, buddy. Sure. Sure. And then you waited 40 years for Batman to get old, and then you came back? Okay, whatever.
Bro, I, I just... Uh, do you see, have you seen how I've gotten through the rest of this game? Holy crap, you're joking. This is the final boss. This is the Joker. Wow. What the fuck was that? The entire game... This has to be... No wonder I was pissed as a kid. Like, damn, that was terrible. What? This didn't happen in the movie, did it? Oh, coming from Bruce. That's hilarious. You literally think of yourself as Batman. Okay. Oh, look, look, he's flying! That thing you don't do in this entire game. <sighs> Holy shit, how long did it take me to get through this? Like, less than an hour? Like, I want to say, like, 40 minutes. The entire thing from start to finish. Just me mashing the, the left C button until I got through the entire thing. Like, Joker fell to it. The, the, wolf, the hyena fell to it. Like, the twins didn't even try to fight me because they knew what would happen. They just fucked off to do who knows what. What the fuck was that? Why did Nintendo license this shit? Oh, I, I grew up with uh, both those games. Yeah, I grew up with um, Lightspeed Rescue as well, but I actually gave both those games away because I hated them so much. I guess I, I hated those games more than this one because those, those are the only two games I ever, ever have given away. And I kind of regret it because I, I really like going back and like reflecting on this kind of stuff. Like, this is what I grew up with. This is my childhood, and uh, you know why I, I turned out the way I did. Holy shit, that was terrible. That was a terrible game. Uh, Yeah, I said I was gonna. Play, I wasn't gonna play this earlier, but I think I'm about ready to um, to uh, to play it again. All right, I'm not gonna start from the beginning. I'm going. I'm just gonna pick it up, um, like during the war section. We're gonna play through that. Probably beat it. Um, uh, just to finish like uh, what we've gone through, because uh, we've we played this on Xbox um, on Rare Replay, right? But the controls in that version are awful. So. Oh, and you also you get this intro cutscene that's not in rare. <laughs> that's not in rare replay. They cut that out. Okay. So long story short, this is still the definitive version of uh, Conquest Bad Fur Day, even after all this time. Um, even after deliberately re-releasing um, this one instead of. I love how you can just go wherever you want. Hmm. All right, let's let's go through it, and we'll start from the beginning because I don't know if there's a good place to. The midday feral. Oh 
no. No, they need you to die for Ukraine. <laughs> oh no, we gotta fight the Russians. Oh no, not the Russians. Hey, we know it's Russia. No. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, do you start here? Okay, I'm going to start at the... I'm not, I'm not doing the puzzle. Hang on. Uh, power's off. Let's see. Oh, hang on, what the? How the hell is this structure? Okay, hang on, I don't want to do this either. I mean, that's what I wanted to skip specifically. Hey, wait, what? It's weird. Why is it not starting me off where... Oh, here we go. Saving private rodent? Oh, no. Okay. Hang on. There we go. Okay, I think this is good enough. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the second half of the game in general, but um, I do like how seriously they take some of the uh, aspects of this. I kept expecting them to make some sort of sit shitty joke, but uh, no. Conker's doing this for his country. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's been a while since I played this. Uh, at least I can move around properly, but. Here he comes. Shit, hang on. They had to jump out of here, yeah.
Falker could take Solid Snake, I think. <laughs> It's nice to finally be able to get through this section. Holy crap. How long ago was it that, uh, that we got to this point and then on Xbox and had to stop? Because, like, there are just too many enemies, right? To deal with the shitty controls. All right, here we go. I think there's one up here. They love jumping out at you. Like it's a survival horror game. This, has, this area has more jump scares than the actual horror section. All right, here we go. This. I don't know this guy's in. Oh no! Sure. Oh no. Conquer. It's been so long since I played this, I don't remember uh, this section very well. That's a rounded shit. I get them all? Oh wow. It's so easy when you have a good controller. All right. Who's this asshole? I didn't get the scare cord that time, because I've learned to expect it. This game is legit better than most third-person shooters. I like this more than, like, Resident Evil 8. That's a first-person shooter, excuse me. Ah, but you know what I meant. There's plenty of chocolate, it's pretty straightforward. Oh, fuck. What was that? Oh no! What? Oh, this is a bit different. What are those guys? The Motetis. Really? Yeah, that's incredible. I mean, what if you were to give this game to, say, 
Intelligent people, I mean, oh no! Oh no! What would it do? What the f? What? Doesn't even make any sense, but okay. Yeah. Get them all? Sounds like there's still one, but. Where's that asshole coming from? He's jumping over. Okay. The beta cutscene for this? Yeah, I, I've never. Yeah, I, I haven't looked at a lot of beta content. I, I've seen the Pikachu cameo, but that's about it. I'm actually not sure. Um, yeah, if you'd link that to me, that'd be that'd be great. Uh, the Cody Coyote uh, 64 on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, this game has a lot of cut content. Like, not to mention, like, the complete overhaul. Like, I kind of wish we got, like, 12 Tails first and then got this. I think that would have been more interesting than what they did, but... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 What's this fish? Meat chunks, okay. Oh, no. To do here. Yeah, it's weird how little I remember about this section. I mean, this is probably the part of the game I replay the least, but. I don't know, it's, it's just a little bit too straightforward for my days. So. Oops, ah, oh, shit, he got me.
What? Hang on. Let's try this again. Yeah, I think we have nothing to do but go to the casualty department if we're gonna see all the content. Okay, we're gonna have to go through this again. Okay, this time we're gonna play, the, uh, pull the other clever and see if we can save him. I know it's not gonna work, but... Okay. are there? Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> no matter what you do, he dies. Ah, brutal. Exactly, you're supposed to get past him. How do you take this guy out? Come on, Conker, get up the rope. You're a squirrel, climb! <sighs> He's not a very good climber for a squirrel, is he?
it doesn't really work anymore. Should I play some Diddy Kong Racing or something? I was gonna play Pikmin at some point. But I'm so busy playing N64 games. Yeah, kind of fun, but it's not my it's not my favorite game. Sure. Yeah, how about we switch over to, to Pikmin and try to get that finished? It's so easy to switch over from N64 to, to GameCube uh, and to Wii. Let's see, where's my. Where's my Wii remote? Yeah, we really should have been playing this a long time ago. I should have gotten this out of the way immediately. Pikmin 4? Why is Pikmin... <sighs> Why is Pikmin 4 on there? It's not a thing that exists. Oh, I didn't switch out. Oh, shit, I forgot to switch out. Ah, the Thousand Year Door. I've been playing for four hours. Wow. It doesn't. All right. We have. All right, back to Pikmin. Oh, that's right. Didn't I switch the memory card? Ah, so we're going to have to reset it again, aren't we? Ah, shit. I completely forgot. Oh, wait, you don't have to turn it off. You can just go to the menu. Ugh. Damn it. I hate how I have to keep doing this for literally everything. Because, like, the newer... Yeah, I, I run out of um, space on my, uh, my, my main memory card a long time ago. All right, here we go. Okay. Yep. It was build up our forces, yellows in particular, and oh, we don't really need a ton of yellows though, do we? Yeah, let's just build up everyone, and then take on the final area. Try to get through that as quickly as possible. And yeah, we're gonna beat this tonight, I think. There's no reason to uh, to dilly dally about that.
Depending on when you come here, you actually get radically different uh, enemies here. Yeah, yeah, this game still looks good. I was, I was, uh, I was telling people when I, uh, when I first started playing that, like, yeah, this game has aged pretty well, all things considered. Other than, other than that, it's Link. Like, its gameplay has still never been imitated. Uh, its general design is like um, unmatched. Like, it's still a really uh, creative, interesting little game. Oops. And see the, the thing there. Yeah, I'm gonna need more guys. Yeah, this game is pure soul. Like, I still like it more than Pick and Three. Like, I, I, I like Pick and Three a lot. Like, I really do. But I don't think it's nearly as good as this. Uh. Yeah, I think we need blue Pikmin, if anything. Yeah, we're gonna need a bunch of blue Pikmin in the next area, so we might as well stock up on them. Yellow Pikmin are just... Ugh. Yeah, I was thinking, of, like, after I finish this, I'm gonna pop in Pikmin 3 Deluxe and, and see what the, uh... and give another crack at the challenge mode. I don't remember if I did everything or not. I don't think I did. But it might be well worth it to go back and, like, uh, try to do everything in that game again. Or, like, uh, at least, like, try to master the challenge mode, because I I think it's well worth doing. I just never got around to it. I, I did it on Wii U eventually, I think. But I, I think I neglected to do it on Switch. I mean, to be fair, like, there's probably a good reason for that. Because, <laughs> because like, you do get kind of burned out on it after a while. Uh, but it is a lot of fun. No, this, this is a game from 2001. It's, it doesn't look that as good as you remember it. I mean, to be fair, like, compared to, like, the N64 games we were just playing, like, just compare this game to fucking Batman Beyond and see which game looks better. Like, I, I dare you. Ugh, don't, don't make me, don't remind me that I played, just been played through that shit, ugh. Oh, even a okay. I forgot about that. I didn't realize that like they're still dangerous even after you get the thing out. There you go. Are you guys really gonna sh the trash talk Pikmin of all things? Like, come on. This game's a classic. I love this. Love this. I love this. Um, I love this game. There we go. Yeah, I I think I beat them all too. But yeah, the medals are just oof. They're they're brutal.
Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to look and see what we're where we're at um, when I finish this. That'll probably be like the next in the list. I, I've actually been going back and like looking through my collection to see what I want to play on stream, and uh, I've come up with like some things. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't see myself like playing a new game on stream until um, until like Mario Strikers comes out. So I think I might like play Mario Strikers one and two again. Um, And what else is coming out soon? Like, Fire Emblem 3 Hopes, uh, I'm not going to buy. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I'm not going to buy. Oh, yeah, I was going to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2, wasn't I? Actually, I was going to play the original. Yeah. And, like, uh, do a new game plus And, like, uh, see how that... See how that's aged. Yeah, I think we'll do that, and then and then pick my... And then Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And then we will, won't play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Ever. Okay, I got the, got the parts. It looks boring? Are, are you, are you kidding? Apparently this is a Jack and Daxter 1. Yeah, it's better than that Banjo-Kazooie knockoff. I, I don't know why more people don't acknowledge Jack and Daxter as just a cheap ripoff of Banjo-Kazooie. I don't... I don't know why that's not like a commonly accepted thing. Like when I played it, I was just like, I was like appalled at, at like what a blatant ripoff it is. And then it becomes GTA. It was, people say The Last of Us Part 2 killed Naughty Dog, but really they were dead from the beginning. Like Crash is trash, Jack and Daxter is trash. I just, ugh. Anyone who says this game is boring has never played it. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna take the opportunity to just just grow a bunch of blue Pikmin. Yeah, I wonder how quickly I can get through uh, uh, the lake. What is the lake? What is the what is the area called? I, I don't remember. I legit like played this last night and, and and honestly thought I would play it all the way to the end. If I if my energy hadn't given out, I probably would have. It's it's really addicting. Every platformer is a ripoff of Mario. Like they have the same general structure. Not a single platforming franchise ever innovated and like did something better than Mario did. Well, I don't need to play Elden Ring. I, I've played it already when it was called Dark Souls. Like, I'm not going to play it. Here it goes. Like, I'm not going to waste my time. Like, I bought I bought Resident Evil 8, like, um, la uh, this week. Because uh, I wanted to review it. And I, like, I refunded that shit within, like, 15 minutes. It was it was terrible, and like I don't see anyone bring that up. Like that that won awards, and I was I was completely taken aback by it. It was. Pikmin is a uh, iconic. Yeah, I never. I don't like Pikmin too. I've always I've always uh, expressed my dislike for that one. I think we got everything. Unless you want to kill the guy. I don't like killing the stone guy. There's no real reason to. Uh, ooh, we, lost a lot. we left a lot of them up there. Where are they? But can I not even get them? Wow, that is, that is sad.
don't want to leave without them, but I, I think I might have to. Okay, whatever. Let's go. I think we have everything we need, so... Hello. Oh, I didn't see the geyser. Oh, I already ended it. Oh, no. Too late now. Yeah, I think they could have done a lot to, like, extend the playtime for this. Like, I think I think they should have had a lot of different modes. Like, they should have had the general idea of, like, the 30-day, like, standard mode. But then, like, you have, like, an extended challenge mode. Like, uh, with, like, considerably more maps. The challenge mode in this game isn't great, from what I remember. Like, I think they could have had multiplayer in this one. Like, there's a lot of things they could have do to, they could have done to, like, pad out this game. Uh, to make it last longer. That, that, that's always been, like, my problem with the franchise, is that it's, it's way too short. I mean, that was the discussion I had with my friend back in the day when this, when this was a thing. Is that, like... Uh, he didn't want to play something with a timer. Like, same thing with Majora's Mask. Actually, I think it was about Majora's Mask. Um, like, I don't know a lot of people feel that way, and I, I totally understand it. We gotta take all these... Oh, what the fuck? idiot what the fuck? this idiot is ruining it for everyone like i just want to kill this who asked you to butt in okay shit hang on regroup that's the second time i've been fucked over by blowhogs in this game in this playthrough like what what just happened Okay, I'm gonna kill you for that. You piece of shit. You parasite. Get over here, you. Like, he had no reason to do that. Like, I wasn't bothering him at the time. Uh, but he, like, got in, the got in the way anyway. He's not even eating. Like, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember, like, enemies being this close to the, uh, to the map. Uh, to the to the camp in this in this map, I, like from what I from what I understand, like um, depending on the the the, t the day you get here, like things are radically different. Um, like there are, there are enemies here like earlier on that aren't there later, like the the poison thing is probably the most blatant example. Um, things do move around a lot in this game, and I don't exactly know everything there is to know about it. Like it, it's not like super game changing or anything. But it does affect the way you uh, you handle a typical playthrough. Yeah, that was terrible. How many pigmen did I lose? Like, 12 of them? Bro, it's not a discovery. I figured that out a long time ago. Yeah, it, it is. I I, uh, I was not able to put it down when I popped it in last night. This has to be, like, one of my favorite games on GameCube. Like, I I don't feel this way about, you know, Luigi's Mansion, uh, Melee. Like, may, maybe the only game I would say I would put on par with, with this, like, out of that initial uh, launch window lineup, uh, Super Monkey Ball. I've played through twice since I played it, like, uh, a couple of years ago. And it's, it's incredible. Like, that game is... In, an incredible game. I suppose that these games have a lot of... Wait, did I just lose, like, 25 of them? Come on. Ridiculous. Okay. Uh, how many of these assholes am I gonna lose? Yeah, I'm not playing very well today. I mean, to be fair, this is, like, probably the hardest area.
Stick the pond, Froggy. I can't get them out of the way fast enough. Yeah, hard mode. I mean, what, what would a hard mode do, though? Would it, like, just throw in, like, harder enemies in the map? Like, more aggressive? Like, it, it, this is a difficult uh, game to work with, I think. Because, like... I don't know, like, making it harder would, like, mess with the pacing, I think. I don't know, like... There's a reason they haven't made a longer Pikmin game. It's It would be very difficult to do. I keep I like killing enemies um to start off with so they don't run into me uh, when I'm trying to carry stuff back. I really hate that when my Pikmin gets stopped on the way back. Um Let's see here. There we go. You gotta be kidding me. Like, these things just come out of nowhere. I hate that about them. They always take at least one guy. Do you have to build the bridge? Or if, like, you have all blue click in, will they just go through the water? Okay, no. Okay. Yeah, they need the, they need the path. Gotta kill this guy again, but with no fiery, with no blowhog, I think it'll be less of a uh, annoying. Whew. Yeah, I, I I do hope we get a Pikmin four. It's been it's been about a decade since Pikmin three, so uh, that would be a really nice out of nowhere. But we we got Pikmin Bloom for for mobile, so that makes me think. That Nintendo's like getting ready to release Pikmin 3 4. Um, but uh, I don't know. I wouldn't get my fingers crossed. I I don't know. I'll take it when it comes. Honestly, like, there are so many good Nintendo games coming out. I have a hard time, like, getting angry over, like, specific things not getting released, right? Like, you know, yeah, I want to do Star Fox, I want to do F Zero, I want to do Pikmin, but, like, uh, they're not major sellers. Like, in general, so we're not going to get one, like, immediately. It's going to happen eventually, but... I'd rather just wait, and... I'd rather it wait and for it to be good. Like, the worst era of Star Fox, uh, Adventures Assault Command, like, that came out within a couple of years of each other. So, I am I'm very... I, I am happy to wait for a good new big one. What good Nintendo games are coming out? Uh, like, we have Mario Strikers in June. Like, if you've never played Mario Strikers, like, ugh. Hey, what, what are these assholes doing? Okay, they were, like, traipsing around in place. Like, they weren't going anywhere. Okay. Ah, uh, A massage machine. Ugh. That is not something we need, but... We're taking it anyway. Okay. Yeah, Splatoon 3. <laughs> yeah, Splatoon 3! Like, that's coming out in September. Like, that's gonna be huge. And, like, you're, you're saying that, like, oh, man, there are no Nintendo games coming out. Bro, there's, like, several Nintendo games coming out. There's so many of them that I'm, like, deliberately not getting some of them. Uh, Zelda Chronicles and Fire Emblem 3 Ups, like... I have so many other things to play. 
he had the DLC narrative. Fuck off. Like, like nobody's buying into that that narrative that like, oh man, they could have just made it DLC, bro. Like, come on, it, it's a completely new game with completely new features and mechanics and visuals. Like, it's not a it's not a rehash, okay? Just like Splatoon 2 wasn't a rehash. Yeah, I know, right? I feel the same way. Like, I I still haven't played like absolute classics like Dragon Quest V or live a live that that's coming out in july like i have a i have a lot of things to get through i have i have no desire for for new games right now honestly like i gotta honestly like i'm more fired up about like books uh, i've been wanting to read a lot more uh but yeah because i'm streaming i've been i've been i've been stuck um playing video games and trying to promote, promote my own books instead of uh, instead of like reading more. It's, it's, it's kind of kind of a shame. I would have liked to read read today. No, I'm not I'm not buying Xenoblade. If I wanted to buy Xenoblade and have like a 600-hour game, yeah, I would. I would. I would have the option to. But I, I don't. I don't enjoy Xenoblade, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to pretend I like Xenoblade just to pretend I have games to play. Like, like uh, PlayStation fans pretend to like uh, Gravity Rush or whatever. have like 24 i should probably go back oh the egg's still here uh i should probably not fuck with that <laughs> i am uh, not a fan of messing around with the, the poison the poison abomination The egg disappears eventually. I'm not sure if the egg hatches on its own or you have to fuck with it. Oh yeah, flying Pikmin. Oh yeah, the best part about Pikmin 3 for sure. I love flying Pikmin. Like seeing them like just carry things like through the sky, like that's so satisfying. And like th they get caught in spider webs too. Like that's I don't know, it's so inventive. I just Yeah, my favorite Pikmin by far, I think. Uh, my favorite kind of it. Like, th 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 they're just so different. Like, I like Rock Pippin too, but uh, their gimmick is just kind of, eh, Not as interesting. Uh, but Wing Pikmin are, like, something special, I think. Very, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with them. I hope we, I hope, like, they'll be, I'm sure they'll be in Pikmin 4. Yeah, like, what is with this narrative that um, that Splatoon 3 needs to be DLC? Like, it, it feels like a pretendo argument. I, I'm probably going to make a video about this. Uh, oh, I should probably take a note about it. I have a lot of things I need to talk about. Uh, I, I should start, like, writing down video topics on Discord so I can, like, go back and, and like, make sure. Because I, I keep forgetting, like, about certain things. Like, I don't think I ever made a video talking about, like, the... Uh, about Kingdom Hearts being cloud cloud version only on Switch, I I, I wish I did because that was something that really annoyed me. But hang on, is it? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna genocide your entire race because I hate you, you blowhog. All right. How dare you treat the Pikmin people this way? 
for Syria. There he goes. Okay. Got him. It's my hair cellar radio. Okay. Yeah, five, nine more parts. We're getting there. We're getting there, buddy. Yeah, is Salmon Run different? I, I didn't, I haven't seen a lot of trailers. Uh, I'm aware of, the, of, like, the changes they made to, like, the standard game, but, like, Sam and Ron, I haven't uh, really looked at it yet. And, like, uh, like they still haven't shown off the new modes. We don't know who the new idols are. I'm sure, I'm, I'm like, 100% certain we're going to get new idols. Hopefully they're better than Pearl and Marina. I got really, I don't want to say I'm sick of them. I, I didn't like them as much as Kelly and Marie, I'll say that much. Um, like, their shit wasn't wasn't anywhere near as entertaining. Like, Callie Marie will... I think will never be tough, to be honest with you. Oops, hang on, that's not what I wanted. Am I losing people? With they're so slow. Okay, let's go around this one. There's such a big empty area in this in this in this stage. It's kind of disappointing. All right, well we'll just end up. Where are we? Oh shit, no! What the fuck? It makes a beeline straight for- No! Damn it! What the fuck just happened? It goes straight for the ship? things look like when they get older. Oh. Look, those idiot Pikmin I lost must have stopped and started kicking its ass. Or trying to, at least. Ugh, hang on. I've had rotten luck since I started. Like, ugh. Hang on, we're gonna put the, the blues away.
Yeah, like, they die immediately after getting flunked. This, this thing's very presence is like a toxic. Okay. It's so toxic. I think we got it, though. What a complete joke. What was that? Like, damn. I knew I came... I walked too close to that egg, but... some yellows out for the rocks. I did pick one on the field, really? Where? It's still out there? Why? Okay. Yeah, like, nobody's able to expound on this point. Like, what exactly... Well, what exactly do you need for Spot Team Three to be considered a sequel? Like, it has a new story, it has a new, it has a new setting, it has new modes. Obviously, like, it's obviously completely different. Like, wh what is this narrative? Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. It, it is just an attempt to attack the big new Nintendo game, like a blatant attempt to do so. Uh, it's pathetic. I wasn't. I don't like taking on like the super boss because I don't really see a reason to do it. Um, like it just it just like wastes time. Like when you could be like collecting stuff. Like, Why are every single time you have? I hate how that works. Like, just let me throw the the ones with bombs. Like, that's that's all I want. But why didn't he run away? What an idiot! Are there more bombs to get? I hate it when this happens. Uh... Yeah, Switch Sports is out, and it's great. I, I played it last night. It was it was a lot of fun. A lot better than I thought it would be, actually. I, uh, I had a blast playing it. I mean, the problem is, like, a lot of casual games like that, I, I can't really seem to motivate myself to keep playing them in the long term. It's not even that, like, they're, they're bad. I like Big Band Academy, too, but... Um... Yeah, Switch Sports was great. I'm really pleased with how that turned out. I wish I get some my blue guys back. Oh, what an idiot! A red and a yellow, just oh, every time.
Am I not getting a single ship part? No, I got the one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we have. Okay. Yeah, it takes a while to get things done in this game. Like, honestly, only because I can never manage my, my stones. I am, I'm terrible at managing, like, exploding stones. Like, I, I don't know. I, I still don't have all of their locations memorized. So I tend to just, like, have one location that I use. But I tend to keep running out of stones. And that causes problems. Which, ugh. Uh, they always I don't know where these guys always come from like right. blues I lost. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, we gotta start, like... I specifically went out of my way to stock up in blues, because this happens all the time, where I just lose them all, like, due to something ridiculous, and... Alright. Because typically, I like having, like, a lot of... a wide variety of Pikmin. So that, like, minimizes your, your losses of a specific kind of Pikmin. Uh, but when it comes to... This area, like, you have, there are large, there are lots of times where you have to just send the blues out, there you go, like, on their own, and it just, there you go, got it. Take them over here. Okay. I can probably get this one. This one out today. Then the first thing tomorrow, I'll take the yellow Pikmin. Splatoon like wanna be esports. Like I'd say it has like more of a right to be considered an esport than Overwatch, for sure. Like it's more competitively viable. Not that anyone like I know will ever admit that.
There we go. Got it. Alright, I should get this one in before the day is done. Yeah, I don't think it should have taken so many days to get through the game. Like, I think, like, 10 to 12 days is probably fine. But yeah, I've really, I really dropped the ball in some, in some places. This playthrough. I'm really gonna have to learn how to speedrun this. I really gotta, really gotta step up my game. Let's take a look over here. What do we need over here? Just a bunch of yellows, right? Yeah, I think you just take them over here. Then I gotta get back on time. Now oh, they're right there. I hate it when like they get back at the last moment. It makes me like anxious. Yeah, the final boss in Splatoon 1 was really good. People uh, people don't remember that very much, but it was really good. Uh, here we go. Wait, where are the rest of my Pikmin? They're everywhere. Okay, they're just buried. Yeah, what? Yeah, maybe I should do like a, a run through Splatoon 1 and uh, just doing all the all the missions, all the single player stuff. That's uh, that's a game that I don't think a lot of people. Uh, Really, really remember all that well. <sighs> yeah, there are definitely things about Splatoon One that I miss, like the looking down at the gamepad to see like what the uh, what the map looks like, like stuff like that. Um, there are a lot of things that Splatoon One did that uh, Splatoon Two couldn't do. It, it was that was a game designed for the Wii U. Oh no. 18 days remaining. Yeah, as a kid, I really thought that, like, I really struggled with this idea that I wouldn't be able to get all the parts in 30 days. And as an adult, like, I think, I think that it's actually pretty generous with the amount of time it gives you. As a kid, this is really stressful, though. Okay, we're gonna. I think after we bomb this bomb rock, I think we'll have everything we need the yellows for. Well, Silk Song hasn't been. We haven't seen any uh, Silk Song news in forever. It's been so long, I'm kind of wondering if uh, I'm even going to care if it, when it finally comes out. I mean, we got Dread. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, we... we um, I could see, like, Metroidvania coming out of nowhere and being better than it. I don't know, there's something about Silk Song that I just makes me think it's not going to be as good as the first one. I don't know. We'll see. I'm certainly not, like, eagerly anticipating it, though. Fuck. I need like 10 of them. Where are they? Oh, they got stuck. I hate this so much. I 
Oh, what an idiot. Okay, well, I have an extra one, so. Not a big deal. Do I have it? Do I need more? Oh, I do. Fuck. I lost one. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a ton of yellow, so. Gotta be careful. Yeah, this is just made to Oh, I think I think the better way to do it is put put them in front of you. Okay. There we go. And I think they go flying when you do this too. Yep. I don't think it's any saving them. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Like, I think in, like, future games, like, Blue Pikmin will, like, jump in and save them, but... I don't know what they can do there. Yeah, I haven't played a lot of the Team of T games, so I'm I'm really excited for that. I hope it would incentivize Konami to return to making beat em ups, but I I I, I doubt it's gonna happen. I, mean, I would love it if Konami just produced like games again, but for Nintendo consoles, but I, I really don't think it's gonna happen. Maybe that's back. Six more. Let's go back and get some more. Get my guys. Well, the indie devs you've heard of, like, there are plenty of bad indie devs out there. Like, is anyone thinking Bug Snack, the Bug Snacks people are, are gonna put out something great? I don't, I don't think so. I just have a seething hatred for Bug Snacks. Like, everything about that game just pissed me off. It's like this, but like, lame. It's like it wants to be like a classic rareware game, but you can't do it. Well, I have been... I botched this fight. I lose against this one frog. Yeah, th th this like position is just awkward, I think. Yeah, now, now I gotta go back and get those things. Bug Snacks is a masterpiece. Oh man, another Bug Snacks show. 
I'm gonna press X to doubt on that one. I gotta figure out what I want to order for my uh, my groceries. Like I'm under budget and I can't decide what I want. And these idiots go this way, and I don't know why. Like, I haven't cleared the way here yet. Why, why can't you choose the path? Because we already had a clear path. And... Yeah, the other guys go this way, too. Yeah, they have the sense to go the right way, but... Look at all these yellow Pikmin that are just gonna die, probably. <sighs> like, I'm telling you, the only thing preventing me from uh, blowing through this game, like, way faster is the fact that I'm terrible at handling bomb rocks. Here goes. Another bomb rack thing? I think there is. Ah, come on, let's go back. Yeah, I always had to go around. So, uh, anyway, so. Yeah, Sucker Punch isn't going to be making the Sly remake. Like, the trend for these Sony developers is they start out making, like, low-budget shit that can't compete with Nintendo. And then they transition into, like, the the more expensive stuff. 
like high budget realistic stuff and they don't really go back like we saw that with naughty dog we've seen that like you've seen this before uh sucker punch is never going back this slide What do I have? The 24, 6, okay. Yeah, they're on the second half. Ugh. But I think after I blow up on the wall, it shouldn't be too much of a dip too difficult to get them, but I wonder how how many days. Like I I'm estimating one or two. Probably two. I can't believe it's only Saturday. It feels like this weekend is gone forever. Okay, ridiculous. Of, like uh, Olimar's diary entries, They're, they've always been really fun to read. I, w I, I was wondering if uh, I've actually seen all of them. It, it seems like I have because they tend to repeat themselves a lot. But um, yeah, you learn more about like the the characters, the the thoughts that is go that that are going through his mind. Like it's it's really good. Actually, I should probably get the yellows first, blow open that door. Actually, I need six. Don't I? Yeah, I'd like to get this done today and then move on to the next uh, final area. What is it? Oh, wow. That time should probably... time should fly as well.
This wall takes forever. try to remember to blow it open like day one the next time I play. Let's see 50, 50 I think is probably fine. I'm sick of this motherfucker. another way up there. Uh... I don't think the boulder is going to get me from back here. Let's go back. Whew. Yeah, I think I'm starting to... I think I'm ready for a break. Uh, how long have I been streaming? Five hours? Yeah, maybe I can just end the stream here and just, you know, relax. Maybe read a little bit. Um, and then finish it tomorrow. I said I was going to finish the day. And I could, but eh.
So it's like only been five hours. Yeah, it feels a lot longer than that. Oof. Yeah, I think I'll be done after this day. Uh, yeah, I probably should write a little bit. I don't know, it's, it's kind of difficult to decide when to start streaming sometimes. Uh, here we go. Those things are there. They're everywhere. Oh, here's a bomb rocks. Come on! Are they really doing that? No, no, no they're not. Okay. Go up here. I see. Hang on. How do I get up there, though? Oh, come on, shit. Oh, I see.
Come on, lame. Come on, lame! Why were they flying so close together? Okay, shit. Dude, I can't even leave because I'm trying to gather up all my troops. Okay. Let's go. Oh, come on! That was not the time to stop! Okay, I'm getting stressed out. I I think I have to stop and play something else. Uh, yeah, where did all these assholes come from? Yeah, I'm ready to play something else. Oof. I'll probably get it. Uh, I'll probably get this tomorrow. What do you think I should play now, guys? Uh, I feel like my body is about to give out, so I think I am gonna Splatoon. I would have to switch uh, to switch for that. I think I am ready to stop playing, though. I feel exhausted. No, you have to have a Facebook to use uh, Oculus, which is one of the many reasons you should not have one. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I, I've been having, I've been getting really tired lately, so I think I'm gonna go to bed early. I try to do something like tomorrow. I wake up. I'll find a lot of big ones. Okay. Yeah, three more to go and we're good, and I I couldn't do it? Ugh, that is kind of disappointing. Yeah, I think I am done. I feel kind of. All right. Thank you all for tuning into the.